Mike, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate for a time. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Joaquin Numeza Buckley. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Heavyweight champion of the world, the Apex. And there's Herb Dean, who will handle the action inside the octagon. Well, it's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Even for a Boston guy, I have levels of appreciation for the building. Right I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chills because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Oh, misses with the jab. Right hook to the head block. What a punch. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Straight right hand now just misses. That was Caught the kick. Let's go. I need you to be first now. 
Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Takedown defense holds up. Sidekick, well done. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice jab, nice kick. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He throws all of himself into that kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Just over two minutes to go in round one. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Lands the left hand again. Blocks that kick to the body. Nice body shot. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Nice punch there. Lands the jab. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with beating. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Right now they separate. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, man. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. 15 seconds remain in the round. Straight left counter is true. Five minutes in the books. Nice work out there. You're really pushing hard. I can see that. But we have to be more effective with our contact. Don't just throw punches for the sake of throwing punches. You're going to get tired. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Touched him with the strike there. Nice job by him defensively there. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one.
one coming. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Great punch. Certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in punch. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard. And... Oh, Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, big head kick. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. And now some distance as they pull apart. Defensive Savant, he blocked that punch. Oh, nice. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Well, I'm blind as a bat, but it looks like that's a cut. It is. Yeah, you can see the blood starting to come out there. What a beautiful shot landed that cut his opponent. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Reach advantage was his at the outset, and he was able to take advantage there with the punch. He's doing work with the jab. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the round. But that's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad knockdown early. It's going to be on him. That hurt him bad. He's hurt. Well, that body kick was there early. You're not there on that attempt. Big straight left. Kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We send it inside now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Apex. All right, so we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of hype, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. 